Jump at the beach, huh? Thanks for the back scratch, man. But you ain't here to pump me up. That's true. Since I hear about a South V tag showing up in Stone Boy's pit. News to me, Five O. Saying someone's counterfeiting your trademark? I'm saying I don't know jack about it. But I can tell you them damn bikers been throwing up tags all over my side of the boulevard, putting my click all on edge. It'll be one of your guys going behind your back, trying to send a message? No, nah, man. Not without my tempo. Only message we've been putting out is give peace a chance. I'm glad to hear that. You are a lot of the reason why. This is the first time my peeps down here feel safe to walk at night. And I mean to keep it that way. As long as them chicken heads don't trip on my hood, we cool. Cool. Hey, but you tell them farm boys to stay off of my street. Or we gonna have us a beef. on delivery. Radio. <laughs> well, the deal's all set for the guns, man. As soon as we move them out, we are gonna be fat. Last time I looked, our main buyer was only interested in one piece. When demand is low, create. <laughs> Pacific Blue's locked on course, bro. Hey, stupid! Get the hell up! Sorry, officers. They're just doing their job. Were they just doing their job last night when they chased a friend of ours into a phone booth? Doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. Are you Jerome Flag? Only my worst enemies call me that. Look, let's just cut to it, okay? We got a witness who can place you at the scene of a felonious assault last night. Victim's in a coma. There's also a gun at the scene. That is strike two. You violate parole, you're looking at 25 years to life. Then throw down, babe. Because if you had anything, we'd be talking this talk downtown. I can now say that I am absolutely, uh, definitely, maybe. Here's a news flash for you, tough guy. You're going down. And when the judge locks you up and throws away the key, remember you heard it here first. Ooh. Makes me shiver all over. Bye. I told you that little guy was going to be trouble. If he could ideas, they'd have taken us in. Besides, I followed him to work this morning. He's a bike mechanic for those cops. Well, great. So he's got full-time protection. He's got to walk the dog sometime. Come on. I got another great idea. Let me spell it out. I tried to run down Willie Hicks in your car last night. First up, if I wanted to run that sucker down, he'd be on a slab right now. And point two, my ride got jacked in back of the crib yesterday. So you check the daily reports before you come pulling a Rodney King. You saying your car was stolen? Word up, Columbo. What you need? Subtitles now? Back off. I'm not in the mood. Could be a setup for an alibi. Now, if I wanted to step two, I don't need no alibi. What I want is peace. Don't take a cop to see that somebody's out to mess that up. But who and why? Sounds like your job, 5-0. And you better set to it. 
Otherwise, we're going to be smoking in the streets. He wasn't at the hospital. He pulled a no-show at school today. Well, maybe the kid needs a day off to get his head together. No, not Billy. This is trouble. I can feel it in my gut. Hey, check it out. Well, maybe you need a little bit more fiber in your diet. <laughs> hey, Billy. How's it going, man? Billy! What? Go, 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 go. I hear Jimmy Guerrero ain't waking up. You got a problem with that? As long as it don't bring heat on me. Why should I care? Hey, why don't you get me a real fight, huh? Easier said than done. Nobody wants to fight you. But I'm working on it. Oh, uh, by the way, Jimmy Guerrero's little brother's looking for you. You're supposed to scare me? Word to the wise, my friend. One of my boys told me he copped the Saturday night special this afternoon. Now, uh, why do you suppose he'd do something like that? Maybe he wants to join his brother. Very creative. Everybody's a critic. Look, we need to talk. A young man was beaten into a coma the other night. What do you know about it? Not a damn thing. Drop it, Willie. The witness positively puts you at the scene. The witness is wrong. He said you were making a gun deal with a piece of human garbage by the name of Sonny McHugh. Stop me if any of this is familiar. Sounds like you're on a fishing trip. You're not the fish I'm after. I'm gonna catch a couple bad guys and keep the truce intact. What's one got to do with the other? I thought you'd never ask. South V didn't do that. You're right. And the South V didn't try to run my ass down last night either. You're starting to catch on. Easy Bryson's car was stolen for that attack. By who? I wear as the most of the game by seeing you guys at war again. Now, I'm just asking you guys to stand down and let the cops clean up this mess. I never needed the cops to handle my business before. Why should I now? It's gonna be a drag if you guys started up the war again because a couple smart asses made you guys look like fools. Think about it. <laughs> 